Are you ready for tonight's starting lineups? Every school, every team, every player dreams of making it to the state championship game. In 2018, the Grundy Center Spartans battled its way to the 2A championship stage to face off against the Cascade Cougars. For 32 minutes, the Spartans gave their opponent everything they could handle with big shots, tough defense, and all-around play worthy of a championship win. But just as some storybooks fail to have a happy ending, the Spartans came up just short. Cascade, your Cougars are the 2018 Class 2A state champions. Headed home with the silver medal, Grundy Center was handed a fresh goal to strive for. And this past fall, as a new season began, the Spartans found themselves returning nine hungry seniors, all ready to run through the competition. This season is about redemption. This season is about making the best of our last year. This season is about uh, no fear. This season's about being mentally tough. This season's about earning everything. Uh, the goal really remains the same this year as it was last year, and that is win the conference, okay? Can we go undefeated in conference? Well, last year we, could, we couldn't do that, but we did this year. And can you get yourself to the state tournament? And we all know what we want to do. We all know what memories we want to have again, but you know, you try to control the things that you can control and uh, keep it all in perspective and enjoy the ride. As with many teams, the Spartans' goals of playing on Iowa's biggest stage started long ago. The difference being the nine seniors on Grundy's squad can point to a very specific time and place where they started their trek to the top. When we were kids, um, Haley's mom actually would bring a lot of us girls down to the state tournament like since we were kids. And then we'd always sit in that same spot like, and watch the state tournament, hoping someday that we'd actually be out on the floor playing like in the state championship game. Um, it was definitely something that I urged her to take us to every single year. I'm like, Mom, please let me ask my friends if we can go. <laughs> and I guess every year that we went down there was just something that we craved to be a part of. I think you just really looked up to all those girls that were playing on the court, and you're like, wow, I want to be that girl someday, or I want to be able to have this opportunity. A decade into their trips to the tournament, the girls still seek out those same seats. Only now they're scouting future opponents, having worked every year to make their fantasy of playing on the court a reality. Yeah, I think when we were little, we dreamed of that, but then when we got into high school, we actually knew that we had the chance of getting there, so it made us work harder and try to prove ourselves and just get that chance to be playing on that court. Like, we'd been watching all those girls for many years. Those formative trips may have fueled the fire to one day make the tournament, but it may not have happened if team parents hadn't seen early sparks of potential. This group was unique from the first time that I ever saw them play. Um, from third grade on, they just were always very focused. In third grade, what is that, nine, 10 years old, um, they were always ready to compete. And so I think that was something that they wanted to do. So we just started going from third grade up until they played there last year. So I just wanted them to experience so they could kind of maybe be like, yeah, this is really cool. I want to I wanna be here someday. A little emphasis today, uh, working on ball screens, OK? As we know, the team we're playing here is going to set some ball screens here tomorrow. So making sure that we are very comfortable no doubt that you have to dream. Now, it's not going to just happen by going to the state tournament. And so then you have to put that into, you know, practice and work and putting that all together. And I think the way everything kind of came together in the sense of this class, uh, having super motivated kids, talented kids, not only athletically, but academically. It's not about those five that are starting. It's about, this is our nucleus, this is our group, this is what everybody brings. It focuses doing the job that you're being asked to do and, and doing that to the best of your ability, and that's what, that's what these girls are willing to do. Having gone undefeated in the regular season while putting up some impressive performances, all that remains is another trip to the state tournament. After the last game last year, like we were all talking about, okay, we gotta work even harder to get back to where we were and finish it out stronger than what we did last year. I think we all get excited for this part because this is when the fun happens. 
because you got to go out there every game and play the best you can because nothing's given. You have to work for everything. All of us seniors have been in this situation before. So we've all been in high pressured situations. And I think it's just a major goal for us to get back there, but we're gonna take it one game at a time. I think we're all ready to get our revenge and go back, hopefully back to state and just show people what we got and what we've been working towards all season long. No matter how this season rounds out, the Grundy Center Nine have created a unique bond forged on the basketball court and proven at the well. We played with each other a really long time and each time that we went down there was equally as special. Whether it was playing down there or just getting to watch, it was something that, you know, we made memories every single time that we went down there and I'll definitely never forget those.